Oh, I love that untouched snow. But, but, I remember what I was going to say. My train of thought when it broke up there. Got distracted by the cars. Anarchy is simply the situation in which there is no government. And government is simply the minority control over a majority of, of people. A, some smaller portion having control over some larger portion. The control is institutional hierarchy. It's hierarchy that is... By institutionalized, it is not being continually, con by being institutionalized, the hierarchy is not continually a matter of consent. It's a matter of institutional control, uh, definitionally distinct. The other part I was going to say is that, to all the motherfucking boomerass libs and, and shit, is that the common argument that if I do explain this to people like that, generally what they will say is, yeah, but that's just utopian thinking. That could never work in the real world. We need government for these functions. Government has existed for all of that I can conceive, and so therefore it must have some hum human nature, right? Essentially what they're falling back on. But no, no, that's just empirically false. Government has only existed as long as writing has existed. Writing has only existed for about maybe 28, maybe 35,000 years, or 100 years, 35, 28 to 3,500 years, maybe far back as, if, if that's as much as we have any empirical evidence for writing, is 28 to 3,500 years previous. Uh, well, no, that's not, uh, years BC, so another 2,000 on top of that, so about 5,000 years, max, max at the outset, for empirical evidence, tablets, Hammurabi, etc. Maybe I'd be willing to say eight to 10,000 BC also possible because uh, it's probably in tandem with agriculture. We get writing and only with writing do we get the institutional intergenerational exchange of hierarchies. So the way it can happen, word of mouth, three generations, doesn't matter anymore. So there's, there's no institution possible without uh, inscriptive phonemes, essentially. And humans have been in social organizations for a hell of a lot longer than that. 150 to 200,000 years is, is the, the time frame I work with based on the evidence that I think is out there. Uh, the consensus of, of the data is that we've been anatomically modern humans with this sort of physical speech apparatus in place for about 150 to 200,000 years. Most of that time, at least in the standard view, is before writing. Now, maybe there was 5,000, 10,000 year blocks of time there that there were other civilizations previous. It's a whole other discussion. The point is, it's not utopian. The majority of this time that we have been evolving as anatomically modern humans has not involved writing, it has not involved governments. We are, and, and that's where most of our instincts, where our optimal functioning is going to be, where we have longest evolved for. And, and, with this new internet interconnected data society where I don't need to write down my ideas and publish them in a book for you to read some years down the road, where the most efficient means of information exchange is just by people talking into their sky screens and, and dialoguing back and forth, posting it on the internet. Uh, that's what the biggest influencers today are doing, whether they're mainstream uh, people pushing it out onto the, the large circuits with institutional control or underground people who have rivaling those institutional mechanisms of information exchange. The most Do the coming dominant ascendant view of information exchange is not writing. And therefore, I believe, neither is it government. Now is the time for anarchy to reign.